Good morning, welcome aboard Freedom. Um, this is just a, a quick vlog. I thought I'd just, but you might find it interesting. I decided that um, over the winter, I've noticed that um, the pram cover and the front cratch cover on Freedom, although they are green, became very green um, with all sorts of um, algae that gets in around the seams and the stitching. And generally the whole, both the front and the back were looking tired. Now, I was going to um, video myself cleaning the um, pram cover, the back cover, um, but I've bought a product which is um, a biodegradable, 100% biodegradable canvas cleaner. And uh, it advises you to um, spray it on, but don't let it dry. Well, when I got up this morning, there'd been a heavy dew during the night. So uh, first thing, I'm on top of the boat with a, a sprayer uh, with a diluted solution. Give it a damn good spray because the dew was holding the moisture then onto the canvas. And uh, I've just given it a rub over with a brush and swilled them bits off. I'd already done the back last night just to have a look uh, what kind of result I'm going to get. Um, so in a minute, I'm just going to have a cup of tea and then I'm going to... Um, try and remove two of the side covers on the uh, starboard side because I've already done port side and I'll take them up onto one of the tables here and just give you a quick demo of how filthy uh, canvas covers can get and the reason I'm doing them all today is because uh, next week on my days off I'm hoping the weather will be nice as it is today I'm going to reseal um, both front and rear co uh, covers and uh, waterproof them because I don't think they've been done for years. I have noticed when it's a heavy rain that the moisture is actually soaking into the underside of the actual covers. So clean first. Um, I will do the side cover on the table. I've just got the front of the pram cover, the windows that you look out of when you're steering, around them uh, on the starboard side. I haven't done them yet. So again, I'm going to take the camera up and just show you when you think your boat looks nice, just how actual filthy it is. And it makes good sense to get it all clean um, before I put the new um, sealant on, the weatherproofing on, and uh, hopefully that'll keep her good for a couple of years. Uh, I'm gonna put a healthy layer of um, the waterproofing on. Uh, the product I've bought to do the front and rear covers was a litre, cost me, I think just under nine pound off of Amazon. I'm not going to promote it, as in this isn't a review of it, so I'm not going to mention its name, but you'll see it on Amazon if you look up Canvas and Sale Cleaner. Um, I haven't been given it, so this isn't a promotion or anything like that. It's just you'll see, as I see, how it works and how effective it is. And I like the fact it's um, biodegradable, so uh, again, it's nice and safe. So I'm going to have a cup of tea, and then I'm going to take you outside and get these covers onto the table at the end of the pontoon and just show you how efficient this canvas cleaner can be. Catch it with you in a minute. Right, I'm just hoping that the camera's going to pick this up. But this is the um, starboard side of the pram cover that I haven't yet done. Now these two panels I'm going to take down and actually put on the um, table at the end of the pontoon and do them in front of you on the camera. If I just step round, if you look at this to the right and then look at the section to the left, which is the back of the um, pram cover, you'll see one heck of a difference. This is a section I've already done last night. It hasn't yet fully dried. And I've done the roof this morning while it was still damp with the dew. And I've rinsed that off, so that's still got to dry. But I think you can see just what we're up against when you look on the, uh, the right-hand side, how, uh, how it gets so filthy. So I'm going to set the camera up, I'm going to take these two panels off and show you just uh, how dirty they really are. I just thought I'd show you this. This is the um, front window, or underneath the front window, of the well deck um, cracked cover. And as you can see, the weather has really taken hold on the canvas. Um, what I intend to do, a bit later on today when I've got this all cleaned off, and it's had a chance to dry. I'm just going to re-video from exactly the same angle so you can see the difference and then uh, it'll give you some understanding of just how dirty 
you know, your, your boat gets in the winter time. Okay, seems it's a lovely, lovely spring day. This is one of the two sections off the starboard side of the pram cover. Uh, I'm just going to try and get close in so you can see just how bad the algae is growing all around the seams and the edges. And I'm going to put the camera on the stand and hopefully you'll get a better view of the actual cleaning process. Now we're going to spray uh, this product on and then leave it for about five minutes just to soak in and uh, I'll rinse off that section when I've done it and then you can see the difference. Come back to you in a second. Right, this is had a few minutes now just to soak. And then the, the thing they do tell you is don't let it go dry, so don't put it on and then walk away and forget to, to scrub it and rinse it off. But as you can see, just within a few minutes, These enzymes are breaking down all the muck in the canvas. And my concern was I was going to seal it and I'd be sealing all the dirt into the canvas. So it's a beautiful day and I thought, well, let's get it sorted and it should all be dry by the end of the day. Look at elbow grease. The sides are the worst actually. I, don't, I think it's where the water's run down on them. The, uh, the main canopy wasn't too bad. And I've got the, uh, the cratch cover to do, so I will do a, a quick video of the top of the cratch cover before I set to and clean it. Just at the end, you can see a before and after. But you can see the muck's coming out. I think uh, Freedom's going to look a lot nicer when she's got all the clean covers on. Right, I'll just finish this off and I'll show you it once it's rinsed and see if you can see any difference. Right, I'm not 100% sure if the camera's going to pick this up with it being wet, but I'm hoping you'll be able to see that that is really nice and clean now. And once it's dry, it'll look absolutely perfect. So I'm going to finish these two covers and get them back in into the uh, pram cover so they can dry in the sunshine. And then I'm just going to go and take you on the top of the boat and just show you how bad the top of the uh, cracked cover is. And then again, I will video it after I've done it. There's no point in you watching me do the whole process because it's exactly the same as what I've just done, but it'll just take me 10 times longer. Okay, come back to you in a minute. And there's the top of the cratch cover, badly stained as you can see. So I'm going to spray it with water and then put the solution on and leave it for a good 10 minutes if I can, as long as the sun doesn't dry it out. And then we'll see how it looks after I've rinsed it off.
Right, this is just a, a second look at the front of the boat. This is the starboard side of the uh, front of the cratch cover. If you remember, I showed you earlier on just how filthy this was. It's not quite dry yet, but as you can see, got rid of all that green, all the old mold. There's still some on the deck that needs sorting. Um, but I can do that when I come to wash the boat later today. So yeah, it works really well. I've now got to pull the boat across to that little finger jetty there, just so I can do the um, starboard side and uh, wash the boat down on that side as well. So it's clean, clean, clean today. Okay, pulled the boat across. I'm now on the starboard side finger jetty. And I'm gonna, as you can see again, I think the camera should be able to pick it up. It's not in a good state. Right into all the seams. All of algae needs coming off. I'm also going to spray the gunnels because again if you look down the boat I know they're supposed to be green but this is not just the green so I think this um, enzyme treatment should lift that off as well so uh, I'll show you when it's all done Okay, now it's the day after I've cleaned all the cratch and the pram cover. So this morning it's a beautiful day and it's decided whilst the weather's with us, I'm going to waterproof. So I've taken both sets of side covers off the pram and I'm going to put them out on the table and I'm going to use a product that's been recommended to me called Fabsil. Now, this I have purchased, it's not been sent to me, I'm not doing a, uh, a product review as such. Uh, I'm just going to show you how it works and we'll see what the kind of results are. And maybe when we get some rain in the future, I'll video just to see how uh, resilient it is to rain. So uh, join me as well get this uh, um, covers waterproofed. Right, well this is one of the covers that I cleaned yesterday. And as you can see, it's really brought it up lovely. So I'm going to set you down at the end of this table, because I'm doing this on it on the table. The main covers I'm going to do in situ. And uh, according to fab, this fab seal, you can just brush it on and allow it to soak in. So let's give it a try and uh, we'll see how we go. Now I do recommend you do it in a a ventilated so obviously I'm outside so that's going to be no problem I'm going to give it a good soaking because now I've uh, got everything clean my aim is not to have any issues with rain getting in amongst the canvas threads in the stitching so I'm just going to give everything a really good soaking it's a silicon base apparently so it should that's quite a while. I was recommended to use this um, by my neighbour and uh, he's used it quite a lot on his own narrow boat. His cover is 11 years old, he was telling me the other day and it looks still like new. So hopefully when this dries, it will dry nice and uh, freedom will look uh, very smart again. So uh, I'll bring you back when I've done this one and I'll get it hung up on the boat back in its position so it can uh, be drying in this beautiful sunshine today. So we'll come back to me. That's the that. first panel treated and back in position. Obviously it's still damp, but I have been assured that once I've done the whole canopy, it will be slightly darker than what you can see to the right, which is the original cleaned canvas at the moment. So uh, let's get onto the door and keep going. Okay, this is just to show the difference when you put this water on now, how it beads.
So as you can see, the uh, the fab seal that we've um, done the front and the rear covers with works really, really well. Uh, very impressed with it. Um, total expense for cleaning and weatherproofing both front and rear covers uh, is £25. It's £22 for the 5 litre fab seal waterproofer and I've used a third of a bottle of cleaning fluid um, and that cost £9 for the bottle. So uh, very good investment, very impressed and uh, to be fair in total hours I spent maybe maybe three, ha three hours maybe four hours cleaning the two covers first of all um, and then maybe three hours no more than three hours uh, waterproofing so it's really a to be fair it could be done in a day and the results a um, big difference to how she appears and obviously when it rains it's going to make a heck of a difference because there won't be any damp then impregnating the underside of the covers which can lead to um, mould. So I uh, hope you found that of uh, help and interest. If you do please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't then I'm sorry I didn't uh, inspire you to get out and clean your cracks and your pram covers. Um, but keep watching, I'm sure there'll be something in the future that you'll find of interest to you. Thank you for watching from Misty and me. Goodbye.